Hi everyone, today I'm excited to walk you through how I crafted a homemade incubator that can handle up to 90 eggs. It's a combined setter and hatcher unit and the best part, it's super user friendly. It took me three weeks to finish this incubator because I only worked on it during my spare time. Let's dive into the materials first. I scored some wood scraps from a nearby carpenter's workshop. Fortunately, I live close by. Though these pieces didn't pass quality control, they are still pretty decent. I also picked up an acrylic sheet to round out my supplies. First up, cutting the wood to the necessary sizes. Once I had my measurements down, I constructed the frames for the egg trays. I opted to use regular egg trays, so it was crucial to tailor the frame dimensions accordingly. Instead of nails, I went with wood glue for assembly, it's just cleaner and simpler. For the incubator's cover, I chose thin plywood. I crafted the main frame, similarly to the egg tray frames, using only glue for bonding. However, if you're looking for extra durability, feel free to reinforce the structure with some screws. After setting up the main frame, I added mounts for the egg tray frames. This involved installing two vertical supports, drilling holes into them and fitting the bolts to serve as axles. Now on to the exciting part, the electrical components. I split the components into two groups, one for the setter at the top and another for the hatcher below. I installed a control panel to house all the switches for power, the time controller, the fan, the LED lights, as well as the thermostat, time controller, hygrometer and thermometer. I repurposed a power socket from an old computer for this setup. In terms of heating, I installed four lamps, two for the setter and two for the hatcher. To evenly distribute heat and humidity, I incorporated several computer fans. I also installed running LEDs so we can still see what's happening inside when the main heat lamps are off. Once all the electrical parts were securely installed, then came the moment of truth. Testing the egg tray swings I just installed. Happy to report they worked flawlessly. Next, I covered the plywood sheets with aluminum foil. This step is key. It helps retain heat within the incubator, ensuring the temperature remains consistent. And finally, I enclosed the entire setup with the prepped plywood sheets. Now it's time to install the door. For this, I'm using the wood and acrylic sheet I picked up from the carpenter's workshop. I attach each door with two hinges, 
ensuring a sturdy fit and then add the handles. Oh yeah, it looks perfect. I absolutely love it. And there you have it. A fully functional, beautifully crafted incubator. I'm thrilled with how this project turned out. Not only does it look great, but it's also ready to start hatching eggs. Thanks for following along, and if you're inspired to build your own, just remember, it's all about patience, happy hatching.